Here you can see that I got a bunch of objects and all of them are in focus right now. Let me just turn on to the quarter mode right here. Let's say something like half so that uh, my processing is faster. So what I'm going to do is enable the depth of field. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into the orange solid right here. And over here inside of render settings, you'll be able to see depth of field. So let me just go over here. Right now, it is on comp setting. So if I enable the depth of field in the camera, then it'll enable the depth of field here. But I'm simply going to uh, turn this on m m comp setting itself, make sure it's not an off. I'm going to go on comp setting. So in my camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on depth of field. So I'm going to double click this, enable depth of field, press OK. And immediately once I do that, you can see that things blur out a little bit just like that because now the focus area is in a different part. So you can go over here and you can see by default, it's set on a pixel blur. So you can, and you can see the radius um, of the depth of field as well and the radius multiplier right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select something uh, called the focus indicator. So what does uh, th what that does is actually brings up something red. So you can see that there's a sort of a red thing right here, which actually uh, indicates that the depth of field is at the back right here. So now what I can do is I can change the, depth, uh, the uh, focus frames right here. So you can go over here. So this is the depth of field multiplier right here. So I'm going to go on to my camera settings. I'm going to go on to my camera option right here. And here you'll be able to see the focus distance. So if I were to move this around, you can see that the red area just changes back. Let me hold shift and then click and drag. And now you can see that a red area actually appears. So this red area is where the depth of field um, uh, actually happens. So the, the focus area is where this red field is. So I can increase the aperture just like this to decrease the uh, to decrease the focus area. Well, if I were to decrease the aperture area, you can see that the red field uh, actually just spreads out just like that. All right. So I'm going to increase this out just like this. And what I'm going to, I know now is this is the focus area. So I'm going to select on to my camera right here and turn it back onto pixel, pixel blur, which is the default menu. So you can see that this is the area which is focusing on. I can also go into four views right here and you'll be able to see that this strip over here is the focus area. So if I were to go over here uh, onto the depth of field onto the camera right here, let me just go over here onto uh, the camera. That's the focus distance. If I were to change this out, you can see that the depth area changes. So on the top view, you can see that now this second uh, alarm clock is in focus as you can see right here as well. And I can increase the focus distance right here. And you can see that now the end area actually um, enables the depth of field. So let me just go over here and bring it right onto the front because this is uh, the area which I want to sharpen. If I were to increase the aperture size, you can see that the blurriness actually increases right over here. Let me just go back to our one view right here. While I decrease the aperture size, just like in the camera, as the aperture size decreases, the blurriness level decreases, just like that. So that is how you can work with depth of field in one way. So you can also go over here, and if you want a faster uh, type of render, uh, you, can you can use something like a preview blur, which is actually not very uh, proper, but uh, re re really renders fast, as you can see right here. There's also continuous blur right here, which is not high quality, but renders faster. Right there, pixel blur is After Effects default uh, render, which is actually quite good quality. And this multiply pass, which is actually slower, but much more high quality than what After Effects render can provide. So you can increase the sample number right here, as you can see as well. So you can also go for focus indicator. It shows that this is in focus right here. And you can see that Element 3D gives you a proper way to actually work uh, with that the field. So I'm going to go into continuous blur. Uh, I'm going to go into pixel blur for different sort of settings right here. Multipass and move around the settings for much better quality. So that is how you can work uh, with that the field inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.